Good morning everyone. So it is quite the rainy day out here. I think it's supposed to rain at about like close to noon or maybe a little before then. So we're going to make the best of the day. We're gonna head down to breakfast and then we're going, goodness gracious, <laughs> mom. It's so loud. Or at least it's loud in here. But we're going to make the best of it. We're gonna go to breakfast and then we're gonna go for a small little walk. And then who knows what the day has to look. I don't know, maybe that other room. Into the door there. And this is, I'm gonna move over here. The little breakfast room. It's like 7.30, so it's very early. We wanted to go for a walk earlier today, but this setup. It's so early. It's, it's not so early, but there's not many people here. But this setup is so cute. I absolutely love this plate. Can you see? Is it focusing? So the first round that they gave us is these adorable muesli and then fresh squeeze orange juice. Cheers. This is insane. Now we have like some natural jams and then I'm not sure what those two are. I have a feeling this is Nutella and then some, they give us butter and then homemade brioche and croissants and then some fruit and little cakes, homemade cakes and then some salami and like cheese. I don't mind if I do. We can confirm it was good. <laughs> spots kiwi plants along the walking path like how can this place get any better oh my gosh we made a little friend just someone's farm it's literally right along the walking path what in the world <laughs> this is so cool <laughs> what? this must just be like someone's little Loft, not a farm. Uh oh. Rain. And then Rain. there's another little llama down there. Oh my goodness. Do you even think? Like, this is God's creation here. This is so cool. Can you see him picking the apples? No. Yes. Look, that one's spotted. I love brown llamas. This is so cool. I think there's a field trip going on too. It's an organic apple cider. We just worked out, which is why we look like very gross. But do you have, oh, yes. Apple cider and apples. It's just somebody's home. What? I guess they're two different sizes. Yeah, look at it. It's we got our apple cider. We're really hoping that it's apple cider, not like an alcoholic drink. And then our dying of apples. What? What's your bag? Okay, so why'd she say it was beef tartare? A radish salad, a crostini, and then goat cheese, and then some homemade bread. Good morning everyone, it is day two, well kind of day three in Lana, Italy and we're gonna go down for breakfast again and then we are hopefully going to go hiking and then I think we're gonna go to Balzano to do, not like shopping necessarily, but just to see the bigger city and I'm not sure what else, but let's just get this day started. Uh -huh. 
All right, so I believe that is what we are going up. All right, we'll be going up that. <laughs> Look, what are these? Look at the bunnies go. They're huge. This is, I think, one of the hardest hikes. We, I don't, I don't know, maybe not the hardest, but really like nice. the view is definitely, is challenging. definitely challenging, definitely worth it. The view is unreal. The city is down there. Oh, it's beautiful. ran into a branch to the top of the hike I guess we're on the top of the mountain maybe yeah that's so crazy there's a little lake here and then a restaurant okay so we just <laughs> pouring the water. we just finished the hiking and we stopped at a little restaurant and we got a saucer torte but look how huge this slice is like can you see it's literally the size of my head it's huge so let's go ahead and try this a nice treat after that. It's not bad. Is this not incredible? Like, I know that North Carolina has beautiful heights and beautiful mountains as well, but like every place has their, every country and every town has their own like specialties. And this is just, I mean like stunning. I mean, it's just beautiful and you can see God's creation through all of it. We just finished our hike. We did it because that cable cart was a little, a little frightening going down. That was going pretty fast to go down that. Long you don't realize how high up you are either. No, so you, you start don't. Seeing it continue to descend. But it was definitely worth it. It was a beautiful um, trail. And so what we did was we took the cable cart to the first stop, and then we took Trail 34, and then to the Panoramic Trail 7. And it was it was really beautiful. It was challenging, but it's like I said, completely worth it. And now we're just walking back to the hotel now. What? That's more authentic Sancho Torte. Uh, you see that? It's yeah. nice dried out, so at least. So we are headed to Balzano, Italy, which is their bigger town, which I mentioned earlier in the earlier today. And we have we stopped in Eurospar to get a yogurt. And this is really good. It tastes really fresh and creamy. And so we are going to eat this on our way to Balzano to see what to do. Right. Tell me what we got. Ginger, carrots, apple. Mm hmm. Looks good. Oh, that's really good. It literally smells so good. Okay, Okay. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so 
We got two pretzels. German pretzels, German soft pretzels. I'm really excited to eat mine. Another morning, another muesli. Macchiato, orange mm -hmm. juice, and beautiful mama. Mm. I love how they put like caramelized nuts in it, like caramelized walnut and almonds. Decided to switch it up and get some eggs today. Bye! Here. Are you, what are we doing? Oh, we're gonna miss this place! I know. The video doesn't show it as beautiful as it is because we're actually exiting to the parking lot. Seriously, I love this place. I would hands down go here like twice a year if I could. <laughs> Pizza Pompeii with Pompeii with mozzarella spinach and ricotta and then we got it without the tomatoes. Okay, so we have now arrived in our hotel room in Murano for the night. We decided to go outside of Lona to like one of the bigger cities, which is in Murano. And we're staying at Mason Valentina, which is like literally right in the center of, I think that's the name of it, maybe up here too. But it's right in the center of town. And we're just staying one night here. And I'll show you guys the room quickly before I end off the video. So we have our, the door here. And then we have the bedroom and there's even a big TV, which we haven't watched TV this whole trip. And then we have like a little sitting area and a full length mirror, which is amazing because those are so hard to find here. And a window, which I have no clue what it looks out to because it's dark outside. And the ceilings, I absolutely love the ceilings. And then like the toilet and the showers over here. And then the vanity and like where we put our luggage and everything. Good morning everyone, so it is 7 a.m. I just woke up, as you can tell, my voice is a little hoarse, but we are in Murano and we are headed to the Murano Winter Promenade Flea Market. It's every last Saturday of the month from like September 28th to I think December time. And so this is the very first market of the season and we're gonna get going and fingers crossed we find some low goodies. So we just got back from the flea market and there's also like a little, I guess, farmer's market as well going on. And so I'll show you a few things that I got because there was actually some great deals. So I got two plates like this and then with a matching teacup and it was only two euros. And let me see, I can probably, yeah, yeah. I'll show you the teacup. The plates are the same. And so that's a cute little teacup. And then, and I think, no, yeah, I think these were made in Germany because there's a lot of Germans here. And then these two teacups. Austria, maybe. No, it said made in Germany. And then these two precious teacups that were made in Italy. And they're just vintage teacups and they're so cute for two euros as well. And then I got some little like I guess sugar or coffee spoons. I got four of these for I think like maybe five euros. I think they're sterling, not sterling silver, silver. And then we went, oh, we also got like a wood piece to put our candles on. Wait, I'm gonna show that because I think that's quite hilarious because we like to make life difficult and 
But we'll find a way to stuff this in the suitcase. So it's like one of these old wood pieces and we're gonna put like candles in it to put on our dining room table during the holiday season. I think it's gonna be absolutely adorable. And that was only, it was like maybe I think eight euros or less. It was really great price. But they started higher. Yeah, he started in like 18 and then randomly marked it down. Then from the little farmer's market, this is amazing because all of this was only five euros. We got some strawberries and it's all organic. So we got some strawberries and then we got some, I guess, prunes. We got six of these and we got some carrots going on here. Let's see if I can get them out. Some for pretty big euros, carrots. Seven euros. Seven euros? No. That was only two euros. No. Right, but you add it up. Yeah, and so we got some homemade bread. I think this is like a classic bread for South Tyrol. And so that was only two euros. And then our final, we got some apple. I don't have any space to put all this. And then we have uh, some peaches. That's what I forgot. We got two peaches and two green apples because if you guys have been watching the videos, the apple orchards, I guess they're called orchards, orchards, or maybe not. The, the apple, orchard. apple trees though are everywhere here in South Tyrol. And so they're known for their apples and they're delicious. And so that's all that we got at the market. And now we are headed, we're starting to make our track, track back down to Milan. So we're headed to Lake Garda today. So after Lake Lagarda, Lake Garda, doing a few errands running there, we decided to head up to Lake Como instead. But here is the little complications of a almost a month trip in Italy, is that not every night is going to be perfectly planned out because we are currently sitting in this superstore. I am eating this bagel carrot that we got at the farmer's market this morning. I am tired and we don't have a place to sleep and it is 5.59. So a lot of people have already, they're about to close up check-in so we're sitting here currently trying to figure out a place to sleep tonight so currently we are homeless for tonight in italy 